Gonzo must you wash that atrocity here on the hospital parking lot. Got to. This hose doesn't reach any farther. Grab that, will you? Ah. Say, isn't this your day off? I came by to pick up Trapper John. We're playing in the big celebrity golf tournament at my country club. Huh? Why? Trapper. Komm bitte schnell, Trapper. In den Raum 3 wieder seine Ehepaar prügeleien. Mir wird ganz übel bei so einer armen zusammengeschlagenen Frau. Diesmal ist es der Mann, die Frau den verprügelt. Guten Morgen, Schwester. Guten Morgen. Rufen Sie doch bitte meinen Vater an und sagen Sie ihm, dass ich heute später zum Abendessen komme. Ja, Doktor, sofort. Dr. Riverside, how darling. Where'd you get them? Oh, I knit these myself. Uh, it's great exercise for the finger muscles. Uh, Nurse Brancusi, would you get me some adrenaline, please, and a small syringe kit? What for? For bee stings. One cannot be too careful on a golf course, you know. Ripples, I need some help in here. He calls me Ripples one more time. I... Don't forget my syringe, Miss Brancusi. Yes, Doctor. Okay. Veranlassen Sie eine Kopfdurchleuchtung und röntgen die Gesichtskörper. Mm -hmm. Sie haben schlimme Schläge bekommen. Sagen Sie, passiert das öfter? Nur wenn meine Frau mal wieder getrunken hat. Sie wird dann immer sehr aggressiv. Haben Sie schon mal einen Eheberater aufgesucht? Ja, vergangenen Monat waren wir bei einem. Den hat sie auch verprügelt. Es ist nicht leicht, mit dieser Frau auszukommen. <lacht> ja, das sehe ich. Station 6. John, you're not ready yet. Oh, hi, Stanley. Listen, I'm afraid we're gonna have to pass. There's just um, much too much to do around here. Oh, John, it's a celebrity tournament. Oh, I know, but I'm sure they can uh, muddle through without me. Oh, go on, Trapper. It'll do you good to get away from this snake pit for a while. I need a can of ether. What for? To remove some bird dew from my windshield. We'll save it for later. Trapper wants you to fill in for him today. I do? Yes. You're playing golf and no arguments. Good idea. You can use a break, Trapper. It's getting late, John. Okay. I'll be ready in a few minutes. Uh, Gonzo, uh, look in on Mrs. Tabermine in Ward 4. She needs... A new catheter. And Rittenhouse in 2. He needs... To have his dressing changed. Will you get out of here? Thank you. Incredible. He thinks he's the foundation of the entire hospital. I have news for you, Stanley. He is. Huh. What is this, Stanley? Can't you afford a car wash? Well, if Gonzo Gates can use ether on his windshield to clean up doo-doo, I can use a vacuum on my car seat. Let's get going. We're running late. John, I can't tell you how I'm looking forward to this. For me, a day on a golf course is pure therapy. Yeah, well, I haven't played for about three months. Es kommt nicht darauf an, ob man gewinnt oder verliert. Entscheidend ist, dass das verklemmte Gehirn klar wird und man wieder neuen Mut fasst. Uh oh, what's happening up there? Looks like an accident. Oh, the police have things in hand. Well, you better pull over, Stan. It looks like somebody's hurt. Wouldn't you know? Everything happens to me. We're doctors. Do you have help, officer? Well, I'm glad to see you guys. The ambulance has been delayed. She's in pretty bad shape. It was a hit and run accident. Penetrating chest wound. Mm -hmm. Probably a tension pneumothorax. You got your medical bag with you? No. Wait a minute. I've got the syringe kit in the glove compartment. Can you help her? This hole in her chest let air into the chest cavity and uh, collapsed the lung. We're going to have to suck the air out to get the lung working again. And I just hope that syringe can do it. Here, John. You handle the syringe. Some of the suntan lotion in the handkerchief. Let's see if I can seal the opening. I don't think this is going to be big enough. It is all we've got. All right, let's give it a try. Okay, here we go. No, no, it's too small. I need more suction. I've got to have a stronger vacuum. I'll be right back. You got some tape? Uh, I've got some of that black electrical tape. Back. Get it, hurry. Here, Doc, you need this? Here, John. Let's get the syringe to the end of that. All right, hold on. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Hang on. All right. Here. Here we go. Easy 
you does it. Mm-hmm. Here we're going in. Turn it on. I think it's working. That lung's inflating. Respiration is stronger. Okay, coming up. I think that did it. Good work, Stanley. Francisco Memorial Hospital. Keep her on the oxygen and make sure you keep pressure on that chest wound. Well, I sincerely hope there are no bees on the golf course. You guys are miracle men. You really saved that girl's life. Would you mind telling me your names? Well, I'm Dr. McIntyre. This is Dr. Riverside. You mind? Let's get out of here. Stanley, that guy didn't mean any harm. The less he knows about us, the better. Why? Why? Suppose that girl doesn't make it. How do we explain operating on her with a vacuum cleaner? How you feeling? Easy. It's all right. You're at San Francisco Memorial Hospital. I'm Dr. Gates. What's your name? Amy O'Keefe. Hurts. We've given you something for the pain, Amy. You were in an accident. You got a nasty little hole in your chest, but somebody out there knew exactly how to treat it. And that's why you're alive right now. Am I going to stay alive? You betcha. All you have to do is relax and enjoy it. Gosh. Had a date tonight. David Bowie. You want me to call him? I'll have to notify your parents, Amy. Where do I reach them? It's very important, Amy. They'll be worried about you. That chance. My dad. Never. See if the police can track him down. Put her on four east jackpot. Keep the blood going. She's still bleeding into her chest. Yeah. If she's lucky, it'll stop by itself. If she were lucky, she wouldn't be here. Well, thank you, Stanley. I'm glad you made me come along. It was a beautiful day. Beautiful? It was agony. Did you see my slice on the seventh hole? Went right into the water. And on the 15th hole, I sliced right into the snack bar. I tell you, John, I am finished with golf completely forever. Well, you'll feel better about tomorrow. Let's go see how the little girl's doing, okay? John, what if we end up with a lawsuit? Ah, come on, Stanley. We got the good Samaritan Act. Besides, we saved her life. 
taking any chances. Do me a favor, keep my name out of it. Okay, see you in the morning. That's his license I'll plate. check it out. Excuse me, sir. Aren't you Dr. Stanley Riverside II? Why? Phillips, Daily News Telegraph. That was a wonderful thing you did today, sir, saving that little girl's life. We want to do a feature on it. Oh? Hey, Doc, over here. Big smile now. Würden Sie bitte aussteigen, Doktor? Unsere Kameras sind hier auf. Gut, einer nach dem anderen. Aber einer nach dem anderen, bitte. Ich habe für jeden von Ihnen so viel Zeit, wie Sie brauchen. Laut Polizeibericht war noch ein zweiter Arzt bei dem Unfall dabei. Oh ja, Dr. McIntyre. Nun, was hätten Sie gerne erfahren? Ja, etwas aus Ihrem Privatleben. Entschuldigung. Ah, also, ich nehme an, Sie wissen alle das. Dr. Riverside. Dr. Nicht Riverside. jetzt, Miss Brancusi. Wir sind mit Arbeit überlastet. Wir brauchen Ihre Hilfe. Ach, du lieber Gott. Miss Brancusi, packen Sie bitte meinen Wagen. Nun, Freunde, ich werde dringend gebraucht. Ich muss gehen. Danke, Doktor. Gern geschehen. Doktor, noch eine Frage. About time you woke up. I've been waiting around all night for you. Where'd that thing come from? Your date, David Bowie. Come on, I was just doing a number on you. I know. It was really Mick Jagger, right? Here, this thing's getting heavy. Hey, thanks. You know something? I've never owned one of these things. Not even when I was a kid. Amy, we're going to have to let your parents know that you're here and that you're okay. Now, where do I find them? Well, my mother's dead. She was on a big yacht near St. Tripez. You know where that is? Mm -hmm. Well, there was a big storm. One of them French dudes fell overboard. She jumped in after him. Well. I'm sorry. It's okay. I didn't like her anyway. And what about your father? Out of town. Africa, I think. Uh, big top secret mission. He works for the State Department. Und wer kümmert sich um dich? Haushälterin. Immer wieder andere. Die letzte klaute ganz einfach das Silber und machte sich aus dem Staub. Und ich sattelte mein Fahrrad, nahm meinen Rucksack und... Oh, warum bin ich so benommen? Weil du einen harten Tag hinter dir hast. Schlaf jetzt ein wenig. Wenn du oder dein Freund etwas brauchen, ich bin in der Nähe. Hey, Doc. Sie sind okay, wissen Sie. Du aber auch. down to 92 over 64. Her pulse is 110. She's still got a fair amount of blood coming through that chest tube. She may need surgery. All right, then get her parents' consent. I haven't found him yet. I'll get to work on it, because if she bleeds much more, I'm going in anyway. Dr. Citron, please call the OR. Dr. Carl Citron, call the OR.
You've been sitting here all night watching me sleep? Uh, it's better than working. My dad says I sleep with my mouth open. Uh-huh. Ugly, huh? No. No, just slightly repulsive. But doctors are trained to tolerate that sort of thing, you know. I bet I whistle through my nose, too. You were a little flat on that last chorus of Yankee Doodle. You know something? You're crazy. Well, good morning. Hello. Amy, this is one of the doctors who saved your life yesterday. He came by to see you last night, but you were asleep. You're Dr. Riverside. McIntyre. Oh, you're the other one. Well, I sure appreciate what you did for me. You dudes are far out, you know that? I mean, all of you. Dr. Gates spent all night right here watching me sleep with my mouth open. Sounds like a very exciting evening. Well, you're doing well, Amy. Keep it up. You're making us look good. Well, then how come I feel so crummy? Crummy? How? Sort of weak. Sickish. Well, crummy, you know. Well, naturally, you've been whistling through your nose all night. That's very rough on your system. <laughs> well, you'll feel better. See you later. Oh, Doc. Do you have any kids? A daughter or anything? No. But I'm open to offers. You available? Sure. Call my agent. X-ray technician on call. Please call the emergency room. X-ray technician, call the emergency room. Uh, did you really stay all night with her? Most of it. Oh, excuse me, gents. I'm looking for Dr. McIntyre. Oh, you found him? Oh, P.K. O'Keefe, Amy's dad. How's she doing? Well, she's stable now. Uh, Dr. Gates has taken over her case. But the State Department caught up with you. Yeah, uh, sometimes that can be hard to reach. Have you seen this? What? You got yourself a celebrity for a patient. Listen to this. In a dramatic display of creative medical improvisation, Dr. Stanley Riverside II saved the life of 13-year-old Amy O'Keefe after she was severely injured in a hit-and-run accident. Um, uh, here, I think... Uh, yeah, I think we'll be out of the way in here. Uh, using a syringe and a portable vacuum cleaner, Dr. Riverside managed to reinflate the victim's collapsed lung. And he mentioned a Dr. John McIntyre. He was there, too. McIntyre? Oh, yeah! It says down here you're a colleague of Riverside's. Come on, gents, give it to me straight. I want the details on Amy. Her condition is still serious. We'll have to watch her very carefully for a while. How long? A week or so. Come on, you can do better than that. You can shave it a little. <laughs> We're not negotiating for a used car, Mr. O'Keefe. Look, I know how you guys operate. You add a day here, a day there. You multiply by a couple of hundred patients. You can pay for a new wing in a hospital. Now, am I right? If you would care to transfer your daughter to another hospital? Uh, well, let's uh, <laughs> take it one step at a time. Can I see my kit? Room 411. Miss Rothbaum, please call your office. Miss Gretchen Rothbaum, please call your office. Yeah, Doc. I got plenty more. Here you go, Doc. A little something for your Boyd cage. Hiya, Princess. I've been worried sick about you. Yeah. Hi, PK. Would you believe it? I bought you some flowers, a dozen long stem roses, and like a real chump, I left them in a taxi. You used that same line when I had my tonsils out. If you stayed out of hospitals, I wouldn't run out of excuses. Are you hurting very much, baby? I'm okay. Yeah? Well, you made the newspapers. Take a look. This is gonna cost us a potful, isn't it? Mm, yeah, but I'll work something out with him. What do you mean, work something out? Just the other day, you told me we were loaded. You made a big... Oh, no, PK, not again. It's no big deal. 
I had a few bills that were a little more pressing, so, uh... Yeah, like the fifth race at Bay Meadows. Don't get smart. I'm still your father. And it so happens that I got a few things on the back burner that are gonna blow your socks off. Why don't you just go out and get a job like ordinary people? You see? That's your trouble. You don't think enough of yourself. You and me, we're not ordinary people. We're special. We've got special tastes, special talents. Then how come you're always playing tag with collection agencies? Do me a favor, PK. Don't be so special. We can't afford it. Your mother used to talk like that before she walked out on us. Okay, okay. I admit I'm not perfect, but I'm here. And I keep trying. And this time I'm going to put us over the top. How? Never mind. I'll think of something. Yeah, that's what scares me. You're a kick, princess. Mm, you get well soon, baby. If you need anything, anything at all, you call me at home. Our phone's disconnected. I'll see you, hon. All right, Chris. Yeah, that's it. That's good. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Like it. Now, how about one with a vacuum cleaner? Well, that wasn't standard procedure. This was an emergency. Detroit over Hi there. Five to three. Oh, hi, Doc. I'm Dr. Stanley Riverside II. You must be the chap from the William Morris Agency. I got your message. P.K. O'Keefe, Amy's father. I want to thank you for saving my daughter's life. Thank ah, you very ah, much. Well, it's all in the day's work, my friend. Uh, when one is trained in emergency procedures, such as I am, it's... Ah, uh, uh, yes, a photograph. Well, now, what do you think? Does that flatter me? Huh? Oh, yeah! Mm, I'm not so sure. Excuse me, Mr. O'Keefe. Uh, may I have a minute, Stanley? For you, John, always. Excuse me. Coffee, John? Uh, no, thanks. You know, John, it is amazing how this little accident has captured the fancy of the entire world. Do you know that I've been asked to be a consultant on a TV show? Well, it's fine, Stanley, as long as it doesn't interfere with your hospital work. Are you insinuating that I've been slighting my patients? Oh, no, of course not. You're too good a doctor to ever do a thing like that. But, uh, I mean, this is not the place to run a publicity campaign. John, John, do you think that I enjoy this sort of thing? I'm doing it for the good of the hospital. My father invited the press to focus a little attention on the work we've been doing here. It behooves us all to cooperate, John. My father would want it that way. But you and your father had better decide what you want, Stanley. A career as a physician, a press agent, or a celebrity. Yes. Trapper, Gonzo's looking for you. What's wrong? Amy O'Keefe, problems. What's her BP? 78 over 50. She's still bleeding into her chest. Amy, we're gonna have to take you down to surgery. Okay with you? Okay. But be sure I don't sleep with my mouth open again. See you in OR. OR Shapiro, order four more units of blood and schedule her for a thoracotomy stat. Yes, sir. We'll have to get her father's consent. I'll work on it. I'll be in OR. How is she? Pretty weak. How weak? Not too weak for surgery. Well, let's hope not. John, Gonzo, you can't let her die. You just can't. Und dann dieser Dermatologe im North Beach General. Immer auf der Suche nach neuen Steuerbetrügereien. Sein Geschäftsmanager verschaffte ihm einige Wohnungen drüben in Hawaii. Hat ihm ein Vermögen angebracht. Jetzt hat er sich zurückgezogen, sitzt in der herrlichen Sonne von Hawaii und folgt sich zu Tode wegen Hauptkrebs. Retractor. Clamp. How much longer, Trapper? What's your pressure? 80 over 52. I'd hang another unit of blood, burn a candle. We got 45 minutes. Pharmacist on call. Please go to CCU staff. Pharmacist on call to CCU staff. Hi, Daddy Stanley. No, they're still operating. Well, of course I'm worried. I've canceled all my interviews and personal appearances. No, not for myself. It's Trapper I'm worried about. After all, he's the one who did the emergency work of accident. If anything happens to that girl, it's his responsibility, not mine. 
Hang on, Dad. I think they're finished. Well, how'd it go? Pretty good. I think she'll be all right. Hi, Dad. She's in good shape. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Watch for me on the Merv Griffin show. We're taping it tomorrow. Bye. Gates. Yeah. He was here earlier. I hope he's getting some rest, poor guy. He spends all his spare time in here with me. Well, he wants to be sure you get treated right. Yeah. yeah. He sure does care. It's almost as if I'm his own daughter, even. I bet he'd make a terrific father. Well, you got a father, Amy. PK? Nah. Dr. Gates is better. Lots better. You know, I could get away from PK real easy. Oh, come on, Amy. You wouldn't do that. He'd never even miss me. But Dr. Gates... Well, him and me, we really dig each other, you know? We'd have a ball. Our nurse will be in any minute. Eight to five, you got something going tonight. How'd you know? You're wearing a clean sweatshirt. <laughs> that dietitian on Two West invited me to dinner. You know her? Yeah. Not bad if you like alfalfa sprouts. I love her sprouts. Listen, uh, what's going on with you and Amy O'Keefe? What? Well, she's talking about dumping her father and latching onto you. <laughs> no, I'm serious, man. I'm serious. Look, she's she's comparing you to a real father, and you're ahead on points. That's not what I call healthy. That's no big deal. It's like women who fall in love with their doctors. They get over it fast enough. This woman is 13 years old. Okay, so she's got a wild imagination. You should have heard the story she told me about her parents. It was pure fantasy. Yeah, well, you're a fantasy too, Gons, but she's starting to believe it. You gotta do something about it. Quick. Okay, so what do I do? How do I help the kid? Don't you ever make any salads? No, back to Amy. I, um... I don't think you should encourage your fantasies. It'll only compound the problem. But fantasies are important, especially to 13-year-olds. That little dream world of Amy's provides her with all the love and, and romance and self-esteem that she can't get anywhere else. Well, since you put it like that, I guess you're right. So what do I do? Beats the hell out of me. Oh, great. I invest in an expensive lunch, finger sandwiches, wine, the works, and that's the advice you give me? Well, you're only going to end up following your own instincts anyway. No, no, not this time. I, I don't trust my instincts on this one. Why not? Because, damn it, she's just a little girl, and I don't want to hurt her. Okay, then, you do some fantasizing. Think about what it would be like to have Amy for your daughter, what she would do to your life, what you would do to hers. And after you stop thinking about it, pour me some wine. Hi, little princess. How's it going? Hey, you look terrific. Thanks. Mm. What's wrong? Aren't you glad to see me? Sure. Would you hand me that box of tissue over there? Okay, okay. I've been away for a couple of days, and I couldn't call or anything because I've been busy. And, baby, I mean busy. I've been putting together a deal that's going to keep us fat forever. P.K., I'm not interested in your little deals anymore. Oh, really? And what does Her Highness have in mind? Him. Him? 
Him. Dr. Gates. He says I'm going to need a vacation when I get out of here. Okay, you got it. Wherever you want to go. As soon as I'm well, he's flying me to the south of France. He keeps his yacht in Saint-Tropez. You know where that is? Sure, sure. Real classy. But nobody bothered to ask me if you could go. You're never around anyway. We'll cruise around for a while. Um, then we're going to fly to Washington to meet his family. His father works in the State Department, goes around on big top secret missions to Africa and places like that. And then we're going to go... Okay, Princess, okay. Honey, why do you clutter your mind with all this garbage? What do you mean, garbage? Honey, listen to me. You don't have to play this crazy game anymore. This deal that I'm cooking up is going to take care of all our dreams. We'll have our own yacht in San Tropez. Oh, you don't believe me, do you? Why should I? Uh-huh. This one is going to work. Just you wait and see. I'll see you. Come in. Dr. Riverside? Yes. I saw your picture in the newspaper. You're a lot taller in person. Why, thank you. So you're the one who operated on the O'Keefe girl with a vacuum cleaner. Well, actually, there was a bit more to it than that. My name is Grote, Doctor, of uh, Windlet, Randowski, Kallick, and Grote. Attorneys, yes. Yes, we represent Mr. P.K. O'Keefe, mm -hmm. and we feel it's only fair to advise you that our client is planning to sue you for $2 million. $2 million? For endangering his daughter's life by performing improvisational surgery with a vacuum cleaner under septic conditions without legal consent. You'll be hearing from us shortly, Doctor. Have a nice evening. We have a construction worker in room five who's had a bad fall. Probably a lawyer in disguise. Or a process server. Well, he has two broken arms, doctor. Yeah, he'll serve me the subpoena with his teeth. Uh, well, will you please come and help us, sir? Let Jackson handle. He's got nothing to lose. Dr. Branca, please call the recovery room. Dr. Mervyn Branca. It's all your fault, John. You know that? It's all your fault. If you hadn't insisted on our stopping at that accident. Stanley, you would have stopped anyway. As soon as you saw that little girl lying there. Well, I won't do it again. Not ever. I'm not lifting a finger to help anyone ever again unless there's a signed consent form and a legal... Oh, my God, John. Two million dollars. I know, Stanley. It's rough. But we got a terrific legal staff here, and they'll treat it for exactly what it is. A sleazy form of harassment. I remember when Phil Crenshaw was sued. Remember that? That was just a form of harassment. That's all you remember oh, yeah, that? A really cheap shot. And Crenshaw won? Yeah, he won the case. And he lost his practice. His insurance rates went sky high. His patients were afraid of him. His office was empty. He was ruined. I'll be ruined. Easy standard. All oh, those years of school, internship, residency, my membership at the country club, my father. Oh, my God, my father. How can I face him? What do we say? Slow down, Stanley. Now, look, you got the Good Samaritan Act on your side and some of the best legal brains in the business working on it. Now, you're going to knuckle under to a money-grubbing creep like P.K. O'Keefe? I guess you're right. Well, get out there and prove it. Thanks, John. I needed that. that window on that motorhome down there. Any chest pains? No, I feel fine. Hey, what's wrong? You know what's wrong? 
Your father is suing the doctor who saved your life for two million dollars. Oh, no. P.K. would never do that. You didn't know about it? No. I swear I didn't. You're doubting me. How can you do that? That's like doubting your own daughter. You're not my daughter, Amy. But I could be. Didn't you ask me the other day if I was available? Well, I'm available. Amy, listen. I can move in with you right now. Cook all your meals. I make terrific sandwiches. Y you like peanut butter? Salami. I could even make egg sandwiches. Amy, would you shut up and listen to me for a minute? I'm honestly, truly, genuinely fond of you. You're bright. And you're sensitive. And you're a beautiful young lady. But no matter what I think of you, I could never love you the way your real father does. P.K., are you kidding? What does he know about loving? He goes around suing people. All right, he has his faults. But sometimes you have to try to overlook... What are you sticking up for him for? You his friend or something? If you're his friend, you're not mine. Amy. Get out. Amy, I don't want you to think... Get lawsuit. It's causing all kinds of problems. Riverside's cracking up now, this business with Amy. Can't you talk to O'Keefe? Isn't there some way you can change his mind? I put in a phone call to him. He's on his way over here. But he won't withdraw the legal action. The man has no conscience. Yes? All right. Get her ready for surgery. We'll be right there. It's Amy. Ivy nurse to four west. Staff. Ivy Nurse, four west. Staff. What's happening? What happened to my kid? Well, Amy tried to get out of bed and she took a bath fall and tore everything loose. She's bleeding internally again. Well, what does that mean? Uh, more surgery? Yes, but I'm, uh, I'm gonna need your signature on this consent form. Shapiro. Yes, uh, would you run this down to OR, please? Yes, sir. Now, if I can just find somebody to do the operation. What are you talking about? Well, that lawsuit of yours. There's not one surgeon on staff here that wants to get involved with the uh, O'Keefe family. I don't believe this. My kid's bleeding to death. You're talking to me about lawsuits? Well, it's intimidating to all our doctors, Mr. O'Keefe, including myself. What is this? What are you giving me? Some kind of blackmail? Oh, no, no, no. You, you can... Uh, you can bring your own surgeon in, I... But there isn't much time. Uh, your daughter's condition is extremely weak. Oh, I know. I scratched the lawsuit. Uh, it's, it's out. Cancelled. Uh, forget about it. You got my word on that. Oh, you get down and take care of Amy? Well, I, uh, I'm gonna need something in uh, writing from you, Mr. O'Keefe. Um, our legal department drew this up. Um, it releases Dr. Riverside and myself from any liability regarding the original accident. Uh, if you uh, would care to read it over? Let me sign a damn thing. Please, take care of my kid. Come on. Dr. Penny, 
Great news. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Was he operating on Amy all this time? All the while we were upstairs? Of course. You don't think we would jeopardize the life of a patient, do you? Oh, man. That was a dirty trick. <laughs> Sue me. <laughs> You're okay, you know that? You and me, we got a lot in common. Heaven forbid. <laughs> You know, Amy's gonna be okay. But she does have some other problems and she's gonna need some help. Yeah, yeah, I know. All that fantasy stuff. Trouble is, therapy costs money. <laughs> she doesn't need any therapy. All she needs is a full-time father. Somebody who loves her and knows how to show it. You know anybody who qualifies? Okay, okay. I get the message. If you don't change, PK. You're going to lose her, one way or another. What are you looking for? friend. Do you know where I can find one? Look, if I'm not good enough to be your daughter, then... Now, that's enough of that crazy talk. You're old enough to know better. You have a full-fledged, full-time, qualified father. Yeah, some father. Okay. You got a beef? Talk to him. Straighten him out. Tell him what you want, what you need. Maybe he just has to grow up a little. You expect me to help my father grow up? Why not? What are daughters for? See you later. How's she doing? Terrific. How's it going, Princess? Okay, I guess. Um, listen, um, oh, here. Nice, huh? Yeah, thanks. Where'd you get him? Gift shop. Uh, listen, um, uh, Amy, um, I owe you a lot of apologies. I know I haven't been a good father. Sure haven't. Yeah. Uh, well, I want to change, baby. I swear I do. I, uh, I don't know how to begin. Will you help me? I don't know, PK. Changing you, that's a big job. Yeah. You can handle it? I can try. Sit down, we'll talk. First of all, these flowers. Where did you really get them? The, the patient next door was checking out, so. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> You and me, we've got a lot of work to do. I can't believe it. You know, it's... It's kind of a miracle. You're free and clear, Stanley. The lawsuit's been withdrawn, all two million dollars worth. Well, that's more like it. You can return to work with renewed faith, strength, and vigor. Yeah. Well, later, fellas, I have to call my agent. I'm expecting an offer from Hollywood Squares. <laughs> that calls for a drink. 